hey guys in today's video i will be doing a warm fall look for you guys so i hope you're excited for fall time just as i am thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel so right now what i'm doing is i'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows with the benefit brow powder in the shade three i'm gonna be carving out my brows with the rare beauty concealer in the shade 190 just to get it prepped i'm gonna do my eyeshadow with the tati beauty palette which has a good amount of shadows in it i love how she has like her mattes her sequins her shimmers her glitters i love it all so if you're looking for a palette that you can take on the go and it has it all this is definitely one i went ahead and i put soothe in the matte shade all over my eyelid and then i went in with story on the outer corner and later on you'll see me add it in the inner corner just to create that halo eye I'm gonna go ahead and add a shimmer in that inner part, so I'm gonna carve that out with a little bit of concealer as well. I will be using the Rare Beauty Concealer. That concealer is pretty good. Uh, I would say it's medium to little coverage. It's not full coverage for sure, but it is working for like a cut crease or carving out your brows. It will conceal a little bit of your under eyes, so it is a good concealer. And yeah, right here I am carving out that inner part to add that shimmer. I add a little bit of concealer, I look up and then I pat it with my finger. I'm gonna go ahead and take shade Aura in the sequin shade just to add a little bit of a pop to that inner part of my eye. Later on, I do end up taking a glitter formula and topping that on top of that aura shade just because i felt like it wasn't enough here i went in and took the brown and put that on my outer corner just to give a little bit of depth to the look because i felt like it was a little flat so i added a dark brown here's that glitter with these glitters you do not need a glitter glue or anything it literally comes with a base in it so you can dip your finger and pat it on and that glitter is not going to go anywhere here i will be using the rare beauty foundation in the shade 200 it is not my favorite foundation i just find that it loves to separate on my nose area for some reason this foundation always looks horrible on my nose so i don't know if it's my nose you know like with texture and pores and like blackheads or whatnot but it just never settles right on my nose Nonetheless, it can be worked with and as the time progresses, it does look very flawless. I went ahead and I used the Anastasia Cream Bronzer. Honestly, you guys, this bronzer is so pretty. It works so easily. Beginners will love this bronzer. I love the shade. It's like a, the perfect warm shade. Here I'm using the Rare Beauty Blush in Nearly Rose. It is a very pink, rosy blush. This is an easy to work with formula as well. You just have to have like a denser brush. In this clip, I am applying the blush with the Rare Beauty foundation brush and it seems to work very well. Here I'm applying the Rare Beauty concealer and I like to put it in the inner corner and a little bit on the sides to help me clean up my eyeshadow. It seems to crease less and it lifts my face shape. It works really well. Here I am patting in that blush and that concealer to blend them well together. That way there's no harsh lines. I lost the clip of showing the powder that I am using, but I am using the Huda Beauty powder. And that, that powder, you guys, it literally makes my face look flawlessly smooth like velvet. So I highly recommend. Here I'm using the Bronzer Duo from Juvia's Place. This Bronzer Duo is so smooth and pigmented and easy to work with. Your bronzer is gonna look flawless as well as the blush duo i have mine in volume two these formulas just seem to be super easy to work with and they like glide on your skin like butter they don't seem to leave patchiness or lift my foundation underneath so here i did apply my mascara i used the abh mascara and i am currently using a nyx lip liner lip liner shade cold brew next i will be topping it off with the caramel toffee lipstick from maybelline here i am using the highlighter from milk in the shade iced and i'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line now i'm gonna mix the shades that i did on the top for the bottom just to help blend that lower lash line with the top so it looks cohesive i'm gonna take the aura shade and i'm gonna use that to highlight the inner corner just to add a little pop and open up my eyes i'm gonna finish my face off with some fix plus and we're pretty much done.
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really like the way this look came out. Definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Jandy Bobby.